I started Grizzly Strings commercially about four years ago, something like that, maybe five. Uh, I mean, I've been making strings for years, mostly just for myself and my, my buddies and things. Um, I've always enjoyed making a bowstring. It's always been something that uh, I, I sort of was always excited to do. All a, a traditional Flemish twist bowstring is, it, it's, it's two bundles of, of, of fibres with decreasing lengths, sort of almost plaited or spliced together. Um, in the same way as like a reef knot works, the, the, the tighter you pull it, the, the tighter the, the, the sort of splice becomes. Um, I think a traditional bow just looks really good with a traditional bowstring. I've never been a huge fan of the endless loop. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, they're a perfectly good string. I like Flemish twist strings, so Grizzly Strings makes Flemish twist strings. That's what we do. Um, I say we, it's, uh, I make every single string myself by hand. Um, it takes a good while. Uh, I, I like to take my time with the string and make sure it's the, the best possible string it can be. You can learn to make a string quite easily. Um, I could teach anyone to make a string in, a, in about half an hour, but it's, it's the repetition and, and, and the practice that, that makes for a good string because you've got to get even tension in the twists. You've got to, you've got to put a lot of tension in there when you're, when you're making it and then it's, it's all about stretching it. And you can't teach those things. You have to learn those things by repetition, by, by making, by, by getting it wrong a few times and, and making uneven twists and things. And, uh, but it's one of those things that, 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 that comes with time. But, you know, I've, I've done it for such a long time now. I think I, I've stopped actually counting, but I think I'm probably Oh, certainly over 5,000 strings since setting up Grizzly Strings. Someone will contact me and tell me what bow they've got, um, any special requirements, what sort of knocks they're using, what sort of bow it is, um, if it's got big limb tips, little limb tips. You know, I'll try and get as much information as I possibly can to make the perfect string for that bow. Uh, and hopefully get the bow performing as, as, as good as it can. A string is incredibly important to a bow because without a string, a bow is just a really nice looking lump of wood. You need that string for the bow to do what it needs to do. I get a lot of pleasure out of making the right string for the right bow, the, the right amount of strands for the poundage, even down to the right color. You know, traditional archers, we're, we're a proud breed. We, we like. We like something to look nice. It's yeah, yeah, it looks natural. Yeah, it's 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 a piece of wood, but it's it's got to look right, and that's why I like the Flemish twist. <laughs>